This week, I decided to recreate Microsoft Flight Simulator the best I could in Unity. And while it's not quite as good as the actual game, it's got good frame rate, infinite terrain, fun arcadey flight mechanics and a pause menu. This project is a great example of what people are capable of with a little bit of coding knowledge, access to Unity, GitHub and YouTube and the willingness to magpie, as they call it in most British primary schools, which is the willingness to borrow someone else's work. Yeah, we'll call it borrow. So, the week started off with me thinking about planes, then getting bored of my current projects, as usual, and then making a new project uh, called Leon Incorporated Flight Simulator. Now, to be clear, the goal here is not going to be to make a flight simulator as detailed or incredible as Microsoft Flight Simulator itself, uh, more of a fun project just to sort of expand my knowledge and, uh, I don't know, just have a bit of fun throughout the week. I started watching some YouTube videos about flight simulation in Unity and even tried making a few prototypes, but it was all a bit complicated and well above my level of technical knowledge. So I went to GitHub for some help and found this package which has a mouse controlled flight controller and works a treat. To be clear, nothing is actually simulated here, just emulated I suppose, but it still feels nice. I made a few edits to it to add a throttle as well as changing the controls to be a bit more intuitive, as well as adding this uh, interesting stalling mechanic which makes gravity stronger and reduces drag when your speed is low which does feel and act like an actual stall, at least from my experience in Flight Sim. At this point, I was actually wondering what to do next. There were some things I wasn't going to try since I've only given myself a week for this project, such as multiple airplanes, airports, all the fancy UI stuff, recreating planet Earth on a one-to-one -one scale in almost perfect detail. So instead of all them, I decided to give procedural terrain a go. I of course went with Sebastian Laig's uh, tutorial series which is absolutely brilliant and started me off with the basic of generating noise, meshes, height maps and then onto more complicated systems like chunking, threading, colliders and however the hell I managed to get rid of these seams. Overall a top notch tutorial. Sebastian Laig is a brilliant YouTuber and you all need to go and subscribe to them. Not to mention the result, which is some gorgeous terrain, insanely adjustable and expandable for any future projects and landscapes I might want to use it for. So, by this point I'd got a decent flight model, some beautiful terrain, which was uh, something like 5-6 to six hours of tutorials, and had almost used the whole week. So I decided to, to throw together a quick airport, add a nice water shader, which I magpied after spending hours trying to upgrade to URP as I hoped to make my own. I was held back by one of the custom materials which is a part of Sebastian League's tutorial uh, which dealt with the texture of the terrain and I just couldn't get it to work in URP so I finished off with a very basic pause menu instead. This is not a very good story of learning loads and overcoming technical challenges all by myself and my intuition, and more a story of how easy it is to make something with the power of the internet and a free game engine. Don't get me wrong, it was still really hard and required a lot of knowledge of Unity and C Sharp, but I did not write most of this code, and I used the internet to remember that nothing is impossible if you follow your dreams or something, I don't, I don't know. So I hope you enjoyed that video, um, I've left in the description a link to the itch.io page so you can give it a try yourself and hopefully in the future I'll be able to concentrate on my next project for more than one to two weeks. Um, and just a reminder, subscribing is free and you can always unsubscribe later, it would be really greatly appreciated.